How's it going everyone and welcome to the show. This is your host Mike Starr and on today's video I thought I'd like to show you all the uh, the all the biopics that I own about musicians and artists and um, yeah there are many that are made really well some that aren't and you know some that uh, are just terrible but having said that there are three more videos I have to make in order to complete the 100 videos in 100 days. And I'll be doing that all today, three videos, because I've missed the last couple of days. But um, yeah. Now, let me first start off with a movie that I uh, really like. And I, I think it really captures the 80s. And um, it's a really great film. And this one is Purple Rain about Prince Rogers Nelson. I think that's how you say his last, uh, his name. But um, yeah, this is a, a biopic uh, based on, loosely based on Prince and, um, you know, his band and uh, shows his life, his family life with his uh, mother and father. And um, uh, this one here, it is a bit of a different biopic. It's unique, and um, I definitely like this one because it really captures the 80s, whole 80s vibe. Next one, I didn't like so much, but that is um, All Eyes On Me. Uh, the untold story of uh, Tupac, Shakur, All Eyes On Me, uh, Legends Never Die. They could have done a lot more with this movie. In my opinion, they um, progressed with it too quickly. Um, I grew up listening to his music and, you know, um, I really like a lot of his songs, but unfortunately this moves too quickly from, you know, his story of when his mother was in jail, then he was born, and then when he, um, joined Digital Underground, and from there just quickly progressed. It didn't show how he met, um, that lady who, who you know, who used to work with the youth, and, um, you know, started that um, whole group, uh, Digital Underground, and um, it just moved really quick, and I think they could have done a better job with this one. But I still like it, but it's not really the greatest. The next one is Straight Outta Compton. The biopic um, on the, uh, uh, the rap group um, NWA, um, Dr. Dre, Easy E, Ice Cube, MC Ren, DJ Yellow. Um, yeah. This here, um, it's a really good movie, definitely. Um, I was looking forward to this before it came out. They took the time, they did a really good job. Um, <clears throat> again, it's a, it's a big story. Um, and uh, it definitely deserves a sequel because um, it finishes right where um, Dr. Dre leaves uh, Death Row Records. Um, but yeah, the story is a really phenomenal story. Um, out of this whole group, um, I'm a big fan of Easy E. I think he was definitely one of the greatest rappers of all time, definitely um, phenomenal rapper, um, you know, rest in peace. Next one is um, uh, Notorious, I watched this last night, I'm beginning really into um, uh, Biggie Smalls, uh, it's a story about uh, Biggie Smalls, the New York uh, based rapper from Brooklyn, um, really good movie, probably my favorite uh, biopic when it comes to musicians um, and artists. Um, this one here, uh, yeah, shows the, the life of Christopher Wallace, aka Biggie Smalls, Notorious B.I.G. Um, as a rapper, I think uh, there's a lot of, there are a lot of rappers out there that just you know, have a quantity-based, you know, um, career. This guy is a quality, 
He's got a quality based career, you know, he only released, you know, a couple of albums and then, you know, he died, um, got shot, you know, but definitely, um, definitely someone who, who I think, uh, you know, definitely, um, someone very, very talented, but, um, anyways, yeah. Next one is Eight Mile. Um, you know, you all know Eight Mile, it's based on the, um, rapper Eminem and, um, his story, you know, about growing up, well, not growing up, but living in Detroit and being a, a white rapper, you know, amongst all the, um, African-American rappers there in Detroit, very poor, um, but, uh, yeah, this is, like, probably one of my favorite, uh, biopics, really, really good story, definitely something that, um, yeah, and I can watch over and over again. The next one is, um, The Doors, an Oliver Stone film, uh, based on the, uh, band The Doors, you know, about Jim Morrison and his band, uh, more so following Jim Morrison's life, how he got um, into filmmaking, then he transitioned into music, um, and how the rock star had, you know, uh, had a wild career, wild life, and yeah, then he died at, um, I think it was 27 in, in, Par uh, in France somewhere, in the bathtub, but this one, um, as a biopic, I don't love it, but I don't hate it either. I'd say it's in between. It's really good. Um, yeah. I just average. I don't really say it's like my favorite, but it's, it's okay. Next one is, uh, Jersey Boys, uh, to be honest, I've seen this once, I uh, still haven't opened this one, but yeah, this is about, um, <clears throat> it's a Clint Eastwood film about uh, the Four Seasons, Frankie Valli, um, to be honest, uh, not much to say about that one, Bohemian Rhapsody, yep, biopic about the band Queen, Freddie Mercury, uh, definitely, you know, phenomenal movie, you know, you gotta love Queen, um, I definitely think, um, Rami Malek, he did a good job, um, I think, uh, it was a good movie, um, uh, yeah, like it, hate it, love it, case closed, next one is Rocket Man, Elton John, um, <clears throat> to be honest, I've seen documentaries about Elton John, I don't like the musical aspect that they did with this one, really good movie though, but just the musical side of things I didn't like, and the next one is Ray, Jamie Foxx, about, um, yeah, about the, uh, the blind, uh, singer, pianist, Ray Charles, I've never seen this, I've never heard any of this person's music, but because, you know, I know it's a popular movie, and it won all these awards, um, thought I had to, uh, pick it up, and, yeah, but anyways, <clears throat> Don't go away. Stay tuned for the next two videos, which start right now.